Hey folks, this is Mark Kelly, not from my studio, but recording anyway today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the three or four things that I see agency mistakes agencies make when selling and managing Google AdWords clients. So I'm going to walk through them. There might be more. I've seen a lot of mistakes over the years, but let's start with these. So the first thing that I see uh, when I when working with a client and they're trying to sell Google Ads, besides trying to sell it overly complex client right off the bat get your feet wet with some simple clients in local service businesses understand the process read all this stuff on our fast launch page because we clearly outline what we do what we don't do what costs money what doesn't cost money and we don't deviate from that but the number one thing that i see agencies do is fail to set expectations early with the client you I know you might be a new agency. I know maybe you're not a new agency. You're just selling Google Ads for the first time. You do not need that client if they're not a good fit. So make sure they're a good fit client for you, your agency, and what you do. I know that money's tight at the start, and you might uh, want to take on a client that's not a good one, but don't. The second thing I see is setting expectations very clearly with the client right from the beginning about how Google Ads works. Look, it's going to work faster than anything else they do marketing-wise. It's going to produce better leads than Angie or Yelp or whatever. Uh, but still, it takes some time. The way we launch, and we do it consistently, is we're going to start to get you some leads, maybe right away. Uh, well, typically right away. But those leads are going to get more plentiful and cheaper over time. You have to set the expectations that this is not... You know, if you're launching for two weeks, don't do it. There's no point in it. You've got to give your, if you don't have three months of budget and you don't have, you know, time to let this grow and uh, give us feedback and things, don't even start. The second, then the second one, speaking of feedback, or the third thing is, is client communications. We don't handle them with your clients. That's up to you. We don't for a reason. First of all, pricing. We want to keep our pricing low. Second of all, we want to grind on AdWords and Google AdWords. I've been around a long time. Google Ads, because that's what we do all day, every day. We want to grind on performance and grind out results for you. We don't want to talk to your clients because you have a relationship with them. And you might be selling them websites, SEO. We're not going to be able to answer those questions. So we don't handle client communications. But it's essential that you do. Um, and part of client communications is getting access to your what converts account when we launch a fast launch uh, PPC niche, for example, we're going to track everything and what converts. Best piece of software I've seen out there for tracking calls and leads. You can go in there and see every call that comes in. If it's not a, a sensitive type of call or something that's restricted, you can listen to the calls. You can see the forms. You can grade the leads. You can see if your client answers the call. So get in there especially initially, make sure that they're answering the calls, make sure that you're checking them, making sure that they're, you know, confirming with the client that they're good leads, that they're on target. And so that's a super important thing. Let me see my list here, see if there's anything that I missed on that. Uh, I guess the, you know, other thing is that just make sure that, uh, you know, when you get in the door and you're getting these leads for the client, that then that's an opportunity for you to upsell other things to the client. You typically don't, even though we just do Google Ads, you probably don't want to just do Google Ads. The reason for that is if you can get website design, if you can get website updates, social media, SEO, uh, content, anything like that, you've got multiple connections with the client. If you're only doing Google Ads for them, then they only have one connection to you, and it's easier for them to terminate the relationship. Uh, especially if their perceptions were not set correctly from the beginning. So those are four or five mistakes I see agencies make when it comes to Google Ads. Ones that I want you to avoid so you can be successful. If you have questions or comments or have a video you'd like to see, drop it in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. Check us out at inboundrevenue.com. Look forward to talking to you again.